Probably the question that people ask us the most is, what's Ava's favorite olive oil? The truth is we've never really had an answer because every time she buys olive oil, she tends to just try a different one and has never settled on a favorite, which is why today we've assembled an enormous quantity of olive oil so we can finally answer the question. But the deal is along the way, you need to teach me and our viewers what you look for when you're choosing olive oil. So are you ready to taste uh, a whole lot of olive oil? Arpir, I love olive oil. So as long as it is a good olive oil, I'm always ready. There is no guarantee that these are all gonna be good olive oils, but we'll see. I should talk a little bit about my criteria when I chose all of these olive oils for you to taste. I went with stuff that's commonly available that I see in multiple stores. In many cases, it's like store brands of major retailers. So I tried to keep this as accessible as possible. Let us know in the comments below as we go through if there's any uh, olive oil you're really curious about that we missed. First up, we have a store brand. This is from World Market. So this is their extra virgin olive oil Mediterranean blend. Uh, I suppose first off the bat, you should explain exactly what olive oil is. Olive oil is the juice of the olives. The olives are fed, they are uh, collected, harvested from uh, the trees. They are bringing to, uh, how do you say in, uh, in English, uh, frantoio? Olive meal. Olive meal? Yeah. Olive meal. They press the juice from the olives. All right, time to taste this one. You don't have to drink all. <laughs> you need just a little bit uh, to taste. We're not doing olive oil shots today? No, Arthur, just a little bit. You <laughs> also, because at the end of the day, <laughs> You are drinking a little I'm bit getting of oil. my healthy fats for the year today, okay? I, I think so. What do you think of it? This is not a bad olive oil. You can uh, see that your mouth at the end is clean. Yeah, there's not like a, a, a bad taste. aftertaste or anything. Also, the taste it doesn't, uh, is not too bitter, uh, it's mm -hmm. not too strong. Next, we have one that is quite a familiar brand. You see this pretty much everywhere Cola Vita, extra virgin olive oil, first cold pressed. What exactly is extra virgin olive oil? What does first cold pressed mean? Filtered, unfiltered, what does it all mean? We have the virgin olive oil, we have the refined olive oil. In the virgin olive oil, we have several kinds also there of olive oil. We have the extra virgin, that is the top quality, is the masterpiece of the olive oil. First cold press means that the olive oil, in this case the extra virgin olive oil, is the first juice that comes from the first press of uh, the olives that they are pressed in a controlled temperature. And I'm assuming that first cold pressed is better than third hot pressed or whatever the alternative would be. I assume it's good. It's a smart. Filtered and unfiltered is something that belongs to is like the producer of olive oil can choose if they want to filter their olive oil or they want to leave the olive oil unfiltered. It's nothing, it has nothing to do with the quality of the oil. Okay, one isn't better than the other. No, it's just their choice. Yeah. Let's try this Colavita olive oil. Colavita. We can't say chin chin, Arben. I was about <laughs> I was to. to. You say knew chin -chin. I was about to. I know, I know, no, we can. Bottoms up. Whoa. Whoa. It is much more bitter than the other one, it's much more stronger than the other one. Oh, that is legitimately burning my throat. Not in a pleasant way. I actually, from the olive oils I've tried in Italy, I like the stronger more uh, spicier olive oils, but that's a bit much. This is a very bitter olive oil. Maybe they lied. Maybe this is third hot pressed olive oil. You know what? <laughs> Your face. <laughs> it's 
it's a little bit unpleasant. It's, it's a little bit unpleasant. That's a good way to describe it. All right, now we have the world's number one olive oil brand, Bertoli. Extra virgin olive oil, ideal for salad dressings, marinades, and bread dipping, but not for taking shots. <laughs> nice, not as you Not for drinking straight. They don't say that. Oh, this says the acidity, acidity max 0.3%. Is that good? TRPR because the acidity is one of the characteristic of the olive oil, which means that lower is the acidity of an olive oil, better is the olive oil. To be an extra virgin olive oil can have an acidity between 0 and 0 0.8. It actually smells like 0.4% to me, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You can't taste uh, the acidity of an olive oil. It's one of the things that you know just if uh, the producer make the analysis on the olive oil. So Why then does it matter if you can't even taste it? Because uh, it's a thing about the quality of the oil. It's not something oh, that you Oh, so it's an indicator of a quality. It's not the quality itself. No, it's not the taste. That's not bad. That's not bad. Less stronger yeah. than the other one. Yeah. But you can But it's still a little kind of spicy and good. It's got flavor. Bertolli seems that they are doing a good job. Our next olive oil is one that actually was kind of one of the more expensive ones that I bought. But it looks pretty good. It's an unfiltered and it looks like it's from Florence, which is interesting. This is Carapelli. Now, Arthur, the origin of the olive oil is important, which means that you want to know where your olive oil come from, comes from. Here, Arthur, we have this Italian brand. It's one of the most well-known Italian brands. But we are really sure that the olive oil is from Italy. It says Firenze, Florence. See, si, Carapelli is from Florence, but we don't know if the olive oil inside this from Italy is from Florence. The only way in which you can know this is turn the bottle and read the label because everything should be written here. Product contains quality organic extra virgin olive oil from the countries identified in the box below using the following key. So AR means Argentina, AU means Australia, CL means Chile, GR means Greece, IT means Italy, MA means Morocco, PE means Peru, PT means Portugal, ES means Spain, TN means Tunisia, and let's see what this bottle has. ES, so Spain, PT Portugal, and TN Tunisia. So not a drop of Italy in here. This doesn't mean, Arthur, that the olive oil isn't good. But right. it's also important to know. Maybe you think, okay, this is, I bought this amazing olive oil from Italy based just on, on, on the label. Even if it's not Italian, it doesn't mean that it's bad. Okay, okay let's see how Mr. Carapelli mixed this Mediterranean blend. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's quite a mild taste. It's delicate. Even if it's not, you don't have a drop of, Ita of Italian olive oil, Yeah, it can be anyway a good olive oil. That being said, I think that probably a lot of people like myself are buying this thinking that, you know, they're paying for the Italian olive oil and not really. Read the label, always. Let's see if I've been misled once again with our next olive oil. Another one of the more expensive ones I got, but it's one that people have asked us about. It is Partana. Comes in this beautiful can. I love the look of it. Sicilian extra virgin olive oil, which would imply that it's Italian. Product of Italy. It doesn't have any codes that suggest Tunisia or Spain or anything. Does this seem legit to you? Here, maybe the problem is uh, the origin of the olives. Because, for example, Arpero, when you read uh, imported from Italy, mm -hmm. it's possible that the olive oil is originated from another country. But they, they bottle it they in bottle Italy. In Italy yeah. So it's imported from Italy. Here there is written that it's produced in Italy, which means that uh, the, uh, the olive oil is pressed 
in Italy. And as I said, maybe we don't know the origin of the, of the olives. Yeah. While in Europe, for example, they need to write where the olives are from. Wait, they've written something here. Oh no, it says harvest. 2020 slash 2021. So this is another thing that is very good to know. An olive oil, it tastes really an expi expiration date. To have the best extra virgin olive oil, you should use it in the 18 months from the moment in which it is produced. 2020 slash 2021. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. In between all, until really now, good. is the best olive oil. In yeah. Between all, all the others. If it's not from Sicily, wherever it's from, they make some good darn olive oil. Very smooth, very flavorful. Like you really taste olives. It's not, yeah. And this is an indicator of a good olive oil when you taste the olives. Wow. Okay, I need to find a way to like make this refillable because I really want to keep using this can. I love the artwork on it so much. It's so pretty. Speaking of beautiful artwork, by the way, trust me as someone who just bought a lot of olive oil, it is not a cheap commodity, especially when you're buying the good stuff. Some financial sites even build their own olive oil indexes to track the costs. Commodities like olive oil, wine, and art have become economies in their own right. As physical commodities, they hold inherent value, value less likely to be affected by external factors. So when you see someone when showing off their prized wine cellar or their art collection, those are as much investments as they are hobbies. Today's sponsor, Masterworks, is bringing you the opportunity to invest in one of these exclusive and valuable assets, fine art. With Masterworks, you can invest in art from legendary masters, people like Banksy, people like Picasso, but you don't need to shell out millions. Unlike olive oil, you don't have to worry about authentication, making sure it's real. You don't have to worry about acquisition or storage. In the last 12 months, while food prices were surging and global stocks lost $18 billion in value, Masterworks paid out tens of millions of dollars in total to their investors, catching the eye of outlets like CNN, The Wall Street Journal, and CNBC. In their last three art sales, Masterworks delivered 10, 13%, and 35% net returns. Over 617,000 people have signed up so far, and demand is so high that Masterworks is looking to acquire new art every week. It's not too late to get on board. Our viewers can claim a free, no obligation account at the link down below in the description. Give it a click, check it out for yourself. A big thank you to Masterworks for sponsoring today's video. Our next olive oil is another one that you see everywhere. Uh, but I've never tried it. It is Filippo Berrio. And actually, Harper, you know, this is a brand that was the sponsor of the Italian MasterChef. Oh, so they know my dad. Ma io ho imparato i gnocchi dalla mia nuora in Calabria. Allora fai dei gnocchi calabresi. Sì, chef. Yes, Harper, they should know your dad. He probably cooked with this on MasterChef. Dad, is this good stuff? Be honest. <laughs> But I have to say something to Mr. Hierro Filippo Berio. Why he puts his olive oil in plastic? Plastic is not the best material to preserve olive oil. Usually, the best material to store olive oil is glass. And it should be a dark glass, like we had for the rest. Because one of the first enemy, the worst enemy of the olive oil is the light. So oh. you want a dark bottle. I always thought they always used dark green glass bottles just to go with the <laughs> theme. Well, let's see if it tastes plasticky. It's a little, um, actually, I don't know if this is... <laughs> It's a little plasticky, actually. I was kind of joking before. I didn't think that it would actually have that much of an impact on the taste. I don't know if that's what I'm tasting, but it's a little like uh... So, Mr. Filippo Berio, just put uh, more money, invest more money in your uh, material, but also maybe find a good mix, 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 mixologist? <laughs> mixologist <laughs> to balance a little bit. Okay, this is O Organics, or is it, is it just Organics? Is the O just a logo, or is that part of the name? I don't know, but anyway, they make a whole bunch of different 
organic products. You see this brand everywhere. Packed in Italy, uh, but the oil is from Tunisia and Greece. At least they don't, they, they don't lie. I actually have to say this one has maybe kind of the weakest color I've seen thus far. But the color is another important uh, factor in the olive oil. I don't know if you remember when you were in Italy once, you had an extra virgin olive oil that it was green. Yes. That green color is given by using olives so that they are not still completely <laughs> mature. Ripe. When they are on the green side and they are used anyway to make the olive oil, the color will be green. Then when the olives, they have the right grade of maturity. Thank you so much. The color is a yellow color. Like this? See, it's a yellow, it's a good color. Yeah. You need to be scared when the color of your olive oil starts to be yellow, but a very dark yellow, almost brownish. Brown. The olives, they were very bad, they were very old, or your olive oil is very, very old. A little bitter. Very, 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 very bitter. An olive oil should be a little bit bitter, but in a good way, not in a bad way like that. Yeah, not great. Would I put this on my bruschetta? <laughs> no. Here we have quite a departure. This is California Olive Ranch, and it is 100% California... Well, actually, I should double check. Uh, it's on this back, it's gonna say it's like from Tunisia or something. Product of California, produced and bottled by California Olive Ranch. I think this is legit. What surprised me though when I was buying this is that this same brand made another olive oil that was a Mediterranean blend, and it was actually cheaper than the California olive oil, and I just sort of assumed that it being a domestic product, you don't have like import fees and stuff, that I just kind of figured that the California olive oil would be cheaper. Alper, maybe here the price is given by the fact that in America it's more expensive to produce things. So That's possible. I don't know how much it costs to produce the olive oil in California because I think about a country like Spain, they produce a lot of olive oil. Yeah. They have good olive oil, but producing olive oil in Spain where you have a flat part of a big country is much easier than in Italy where right. sometimes you have the olives, you think in Liguria, they are just, uh, I don't know, maybe 100 olive trees uh, <laughs> <laughs> attached to a mountain that maybe is falling down, so. So it's kind of like wine. In general, the more you spend, the better quality you'll get. But not but always. Not always. <laughs> okay. <coughs> it doesn't really taste like olives. <laughs> it's not great. This one is kind of the, has the weirdest flavor. It, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like olive. Olives, <laughs> it just tastes like oil. <laughs> it's true, it just tastes like oil. Yeah, I think this is a case where uh, the price is not a very good indicator of the quality. Okay, we have another store brand here. This is 100% Italian, organic, extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed, product of Italy. I think it's actually Italian. This is Trader Joe's, or should I say, Trader Giotto's. This is not the first time that I heard about them because I read an article and I am aware that they were the main character protagonist of a scandal. What they did was put in their bottle a sell as an Italian or an olive oil that it wasn't Italian. So I think that right now I am as I'm assuming because they want to keep selling. <laughs> That's why they're just like Italian, 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 Italian. Maybe. <laughs> this maybe time. Right now it is possible that this time inside there is actually Italian olive oil. Sometimes it happens also something very, very bad, worse than this. Sometimes it happens that uh, some company, they sell as extra virgin olive oil 
an olive oil that is not extra virgin uh, at all. That is maybe a refined olive oil uh -huh. that is, uh, how do you say, adjust with chemical stuff or something like that. Uh -huh. Sometimes it happens also that they mix uh, the extra virgin olive oil with uh, other kind of oil, like peanut oil. Uh, something. Like not even olive oil. Not even olive oil. And I'm assuming there's really no way to know if, if your olive oil is 100% olive oil or not? No, really, because the only way which you are sure if you know where you are buying the olive oil. So let's see how Trader Jotos uh, start to do after he fooled people. <laughs> Tastes a little peanut oily to me. I'm kidding. It doesn't. It's a good olive oil. Definitely on the spicier end, which I like. It's good. I'd say it's one of the best we've tried today. So maybe, maybe they deserve a second chance because everyone can make a mistake in life. Look, if it is Tunisian canola oil, it's a good Tunisian canola oil, so you know. Organic, extra virgin olive oil, Mediterranean, no lie there. Cold processed, this is 365, which is the store brand of Whole Foods Market, everyone's favorite store when you're trying to spend a lot of money and eat healthy. This comes to my mind, the one thing that I discovered recently. Your FDA, they change the category of the olive oil. They start to treat the olive oil more or less like a medicine. Really? For the good things that a small quantity of olive oil every day can make to your body. Well, actually, this is uh, a reason why it is important to try to like find out if you're drinking or eating, drinking, I'm thinking about today, if you're eating uh, real olive oil or not, because if it's like flavored grapeseed oil, you're not getting the health benefits of olive oil. Yeah, but I don't taste olive at all. It's definitely not like the worst we've had today. No, but not it's also not the, the best. It's not the best either. Disa Unremarkable. It's disappointing. Meh. Maybe I would not recommend to make a bruschetta with this. <laughs> Our next olive oil is so Italian that they don't even write product of Italy. Prodotto d'Italia. This is Lucini, premium select, 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil, first cold press. It has the harvest date, which I haven't seen on very many of these, so that's good. Green, with hints of almond and a peppery finish found in fresh olive fruit. So I assume that this is kind of one that they're thinking is meant to be like a, a very high quality tasting olive oil. Maybe not like a cooking olive oil, but a tasting olive oil. What is a cooking olive oil out there? You know, like a like a cheaper olive oil that is just for cooking. There isn't a such a thing in the world. The olive oil, the extra virgin olive oil that you use to put on your bruschetta, it should be the same that you use for your ragu, your pasta, your frittata. Because a cooking oil, it means that it's a refined olive oil. It's treated with chemical stuff. Well, what do you think though about maybe having like a nicer olive oil, higher quality, more expensive olive oil for something like bruschetta or something where you really, really taste the olive oil as opposed to having one that's still an extra virgin and still good, but is maybe a slightly cheaper, more affordable thing for cooking purposes. I understand the situation that uh, in which we are here in America because the olive oil is very expensive here. Okay, do it, not the cooking oil. Yeah, avoid olive oil that specifically says for cooking. <laughs> Avoid also when there is written just olive oil. Just go with the extra virgin. Use a little bit less, but use the good one. Quality over quantity. Always. Although in the words of Napoleon, quantity has a quality all of its own. But it was French. <laughs> <laughs> Touché. It's a good olive oil. This is Definitely the spiciest one we've had, I think. They're right when they call it peppery. The only thing you read before that it should be green, right? It says green 
in quotation marks, uh, green. Because it doesn't look very green to me. Speaking of green olive oil, ba-bam! It is green. It is green. This olive oil has a little bit of a story behind it. Okay, it's, it's a Trader Joe's new Italian reserve extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed from the finest Italian olives. This unfiltered, unrefined extra virgin olive oil exhibits extraordinary rich, smooth flavor. The beautiful green hue softens over time to a mellow shade of yellow. It's a bit more of a specialty one, definitely on the more expensive end. The reason I got this is because when I was looking at the olive oil, uh, a sales associate at Trader Joe's, his name is Joel, hi Joel, he was like, dude, that is like the best olive oil you'll ever have in your life. So I had to get it uh, and it has this beautiful green, I don't know how well you can see it, unfiltered, cloudy kind of color. This is, uh, yes, the color of the new olive oil. And actually the new olive oil has a very different taste than an olive oil that is in the bottle for one year, two years, because it's more uh, spicy, it's like, uh, yeah. it's good. <laughs> yeah, all right, Joel, let's see if you're right. I don't want to disappoint him, <laughs> but this is uh, very far uh, from what uh, a real uh, Olio Novello is. I would actually say this is one of the more mild olive oils we've had today. Joel. Sorry, Joel. Sorry, Sorry. Joel. Well, next time, leave a comment and tell us where you are, because next, next time that we are coming back from Italy, we will... Uh, <laughs> we'll bring you some better olive oil. See. Si. It's, it, it's worth saying it's not bad. No, no, it's not. It's the totally good olive oil. It's just so far from... The real uh, Novello, because the characteristic of an olive, a Novello olive oil is all the concentration of the flavor there. Okay, Eva, out of all the olive oils we tried today, if you had to pick maybe your top three favorites that you would go buy again, which would they be? The tra Trader Giotto's. Yeah, it was good. It was like a pretty good flavor, a little bit on the spicy end if you're into that. And also uh, like a like a good deal. It's not a super expensive olive oil. Then Alper, I should say that I liked also the Lucini. Yes, the not green, green olive oil. But, but it was it very was. good. That one, that one surprised me, honestly. It was... It was better than I was expecting. Mm, yeah. See, I was a little bit disappointed because if you write green, even yeah. if it's in pot, it should be green. But yeah. it doesn't matter, it was a good olive oil. And then I liked also the Partana. Ah, the Partana with my favorite can. Actually, I should say that in between all, this is what I like the most. By far the best. Definitely, this one is a bit more on the expensive side. You will not be disappointed. It is really good stuff. It reminds me a lot of uh, the olive oil that we use uh, in Calabria. And Arper. Yeah, speaking of which, I might have lied a little bit at the beginning when I said that Ava didn't have a favorite. She does have a favorite, and it's the olive oil that we bring back from her hometown, Dosa. You wanna go grab some? What's one more shot of olive oil? Let's have another drink. So, this is the way in which I wrapped <laughs> my olive oil. Oh, and bubble wrapped, very dark glass bottle. We know the owner very, very well because he's the cheesemaker that makes that wonderful ricotta cheese. We didn't even know that he produced olive oil until this most recent trip and he was like, here, try this. And it was by far the best olive oil either of us have ever had. And this is the first time that I'm uh, Bringing Bring olive back. oil back. Olive yeah. oil from Italy. This time I need a chin chin. Me too. Chin chin. Chin <laughs> chin. chin. Oh. It is so good. You can taste the olives. It's super, I mean, super olivey. It, it tastes like olives with a capital O. Peppery and spicy, but without being bitter or burning my throat. 
at all. It is so smooth at the same time. It's amazing. We know that you guys can't just run down to the store and get some of Giovanni's olive oil, which is a shame. You can come with us though on the Pasta Grammar tour and try some. You can come spend a week with us in Dasa. We have our brand new tour experience, which you can check out. The link will be down below. We hope to see you there. Well guys, we hope you picked up some tips on what to look for when you're choosing an olive oil. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite go-to olive oil is. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Chin chin. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, that is good. That crazy Calabrian doesn't just make the best ricotta in the world,